Hi guys, Farhan Tripu here and today we've got you the Zep Companion 500. Whenever people generally speak about buying any wireless keyboard for their daily use, companies like HP, Logitech and Dell would be named in the conversation. But now, other companies like EVGA and Zebronix have started to enter the competition for making IT peripherals. And today, we have Zebronix's one such budget-friendly keyboard. So let's get straight to the review and see if the keyboard is exactly worth its price or is it worth more than the price. When we open the box, we get to see one keyboard, one mouse and one nano receiver. What was disappointing for me is that we do not get the batteries for the keyboard and the mouse here. We will need to buy it ourselves and note that you will need two AAA batteries for the keyboard while you will need one AA battery for the mouse. Coming to the design of the Zep Companion 500, starting with the keyboard, we can see that the company has gone with a slim plastic finish design here. You will find 119 keys on this keyboard, of which 12 are multimedia keys. You will also see a numeric keypad for this keyboard. We have also been given a light indicator for the caps lock, number lock and battery. For me, this looks like every other generic keyboard. Underneath the keyboard, you will find four rubber grips provided along with the stands to adjust the height of the keyboard. You will also see the slot to place your batteries to get the keyboard to start working. This is my favourite here when we come to the mouse since it's pleasantly compact in size. The mouse is made of plastic and is surprisingly very light in weight as well. It has four buttons on it. And I can say that this is a silent mouse as no noise comes when I click any of its buttons. Also, you will find the nano receiver in the mouse. Coming to the keys, you should know that this is a chiclet keyboard, meaning these keyboards have a shorter depression than a regular keyboard and the keys here feel less springy and more comfortable while using. The alphabets and numbers are laser printed on the keycaps, so you would not have to worry about the paint of the letters deteriorating over time. Now, for the performance of the keyboard, I can say I found it quite satisfactory because of the 2.4 GHz offered for connectivity, there was no delay in the latency of the keyboard or the mouse to the computer. While using the keyboard, the keys just make a light sound. It's not that irritating, in fact some might find it satisfying if they're on a typing spree. Otherwise, it is quite silent. The multimedia keys also worked well. The mouse was also decent in performance since it was high in precision. The mouse fits completely in my palm which made me very content and with the DPI button on the mouse, you can instantly adjust pointer speed for precision tasks such as in game targeting or photo editing. Now coming to my final opinion on this keyboard, for the price of 1389, I feel this is a really good choice if you're looking for a low budget wireless keyboard with a mouse combo. This keyboard is for those who want to work from home or in office. I don't think this will be suitable for gaming. The pros for me personally were that I didn't need to install any software to start using the keyboard, the silent operations that are possible on this keyboard and the multimedia keys that made it a little easier for me to control my music, open the calculator, increase or decrease volumes. While the cons are, Zebronix does not provide you with any batteries for the keyboard or mouse in the packaging. They could have added a backlight under the keycap so we could use the keyboard in the dark environment. The rubber grip does not perform well either they could have made them a little more bigger and to hold the keyboard a little better. The plastic finish was also not sitting well with me. Yes, it might be light, but I prefer my metal finishes so that I know my keyboard will last longer compared to the plastic ones. So that's it for today, folks. And if you want us to review any other gadget that you'd like to see or if you have any questions as well, please let us know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If the review was good for you, please like this video and do share it with a friend who would like this keyboard too. See you in the next video.